So FSR 3 just launched and it comes with an updated FSR upscaler and a new and much anticipated frame generation feature. Let's watch the comparisons and see if it's worth it. The new native AA option is basically DLAA but for FSR, preserving native resolution without upscaling. It delivers sharpness and clarity, but DLSS still outperforms it in terms of aliasing and stability. It would have been interesting to compare this feature to DLAA, but for Spoken lacks DLAA support. Now, onto the new frame generation feature, the highlight of this release. For static scenes, frame generation shows little difference. However, during camera movements, lower frame rates introduce more artifacts, making it bearable only when pushing above 90 fps, and that's the best case scenario. I also noticed that using a mouse for quick camera movements accentuates frame generation artifacts, while a controller's slower, smoother movements reduce them, but they are still noticeable. Now let's compare how gamers might use this feature in real scenarios alongside other settings like DLSS quality and no upscaling. In actual gameplay, frame generation delivers the expected performance boost. It turns previously unattainable 60 FPS into reality. The most impressive aspect of frame generation is its impact on CPU limited scenarios. As games increasingly stress CPUs, Inserting artificial frames between real ones to achieve an otherwise impossible frame rate is a game changer. In conclusion, FSR 3's upscaler still lags behind DLSS, displaying more aliasing and shimmering. It doesn't seem to offer any notable visual improvements over FSR 2. Its only advantage over DLSS is that it looks a bit sharper, which was always the case with FSR 2 as well. Regarding frame generation, at least in its current implementation in Forspoken, it's impractical. It introduces distracting visual artifacts, especially during fast camera movements, along with frame time and stability issues. There are numerous bugs, and it's constrained to use FSR, which objectively offers lower quality compared to alternatives like DLSS or XESS. This restriction may be the reason for the unexpected visual artifacts as they resemble the regular FSR artifacts that frame generation relies on. Perhaps in a year or two with the regular updates, it might become worth considering, but for now, it's best to steer clear.